made in Brisbane for Brisbane. You're listening to Spencer Housen on 882 4BC. Rick Birch, who was the Director of Entertainment at Expo. Rick's with me in the studio along with Expo historian Peter Racy. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning, Spencer. Welcome and uh, happy 35th <laughs> for, uh, for tomorrow. Rick, we'll get to Expo, but we, we know you as well for the opening ceremonies for a bunch of Olympics, LA, Barcelona, Sydney. But you did the Brisbane Commonwealth Games as well in 1982, didn't you? Absolutely. That was my start in stadium shows and it got me everything else. People around the world watched Brisbane 82 and so, said, oh, you can do Olympics. How did, so you were, you were working for the ABC before that as a TV director. So how did, yeah, how did you get from there to, because that's a massive live production, even in little old Brisbane, little old Commonwealth Games. It was a massive deal. Well, in fact, the ABC was the host broadcaster for the Commonwealth Games in 82. And there was a competition which the organising committee held for a producer and director for the opening ceremonies. And I pitched along with uh, Channel 9, I think Michael Edgeley and a couple of other companies. We pitched, we won. And so I got to be the director of the opening ceremonies. I'd been a, an executive producer of entertainment for a few years before that. Was Matilda your idea then? Well, Matilda was actually the logo for or the mascot for the Commonwealth Games. And they'd already come up with Matilda as a two-dimensional graphic, as a drawing, like an animation. But we produced it in the 3D, you know, as a, a living, breathing, winking Matilda. Yes, now up at a petrol station on the well, Sunshine that's Coast. That's I believe. <laughs> yeah. When did you last see Matilda? Well, it was a long time ago, not all that long after the uh, the Games. I saw her wherever. She was on the Gympie or somewhere on she, the way. Well, she was on the Gold Coast, of course, for a while at Cades County, which right. became it's wet and wild. Cades, Cades County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now That's she's, when I saw it. she's at a survey. So, you know, when you think 82 Games, you think Matilda. 84 you did, and I think of the NASA jetpack. That was probably my... Yeah, yeah. not NASA, but... Well, oh, yeah, sorry. Close. Looked like, but for legal reasons, <laughs> not NASA. Jet Propulsion Laboratories. Right, okay. Um, 92 Barcelona you did, and I think of the Arrow. Yeah, you're doing it before yeah. I even say yeah. it. Yeah. Is it, like, each of those, there's all some... some uh, 2000 Sydney you did, and... I don't know. I'm going to say the bi- the, the 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 kangaroos riding bi- the bicycles, <laughs> but there were so many iconic moments in that opening ceremony. Well, yeah, the the roos on bikes were Atlanta '96. That was the oh, flag, was the flag handover that formed. Part Did that of the not hap- happen at Sydney? There was a very brief moment in the closing ceremony. Oh, okay. But most people remember Kathy and the cauldron. Oh, I know. I didn't like. To, I mean. <laughs> You didn't like it. Oh, no, no, no. No, look, it was an awkward, really awkward moment. Well, and when you watch. Se- you're seizing on the halt in proceeding yeah, rather, that, yeah, rather than the beginning and end. Because that's what I kind of do remember. <laughs> and just thinking, like, she's, she's, someone's talking to her in her ear. And was that you just saying, just hold it? Just hold yeah, everything's it? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And I was writing a piece for the stadium announcer saying, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great ceremony. And. Uh, Thank you for coming, and we'll see you tomorrow. How long was the was the pause then? It was three minutes and forty <laughs> seconds. Jeez, <laughs> and that's got to be the longest three minutes and forty seconds in your of your life, pretty right? much. But not as long as the technical director who told me that he'd put extra gas in the cauldron to allow for stops like this. But in fact, he hadn't, and we ended up with twenty seconds of gas left in the cauldron, oh, man. which he knew, but I didn't. Twenty eighteen Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Why didn't Rick Birch EP? The 2018 Commonwealth Games. A question people are still asking. Are you asking? (laughs) Because you put your hand up for it, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Gold Coast Committee knew better, I guess. But the closing ceremony is known. So we talk about moments, right, in in opening and closing ceremonies. The closing ceremony of 2018 is known for that spray from the presenters afterwards, rightly so, that the broadcaster didn't show the athletes coming into the stadium. It was known for a staff-up. Yeah. But it wouldn't have happened if you were running the show. Well, no, I, I do think the athletes are pretty important in an opening closing ceremony and should have been seen, yeah. We will get to Expo, but uh, 2032, are you in the Premier's ear yet about 2032? No, no, haven't spoken to the Premier. Um, had a brief meeting with Cindy Hook, but only to say good day. We were passing through Brisbane, so it's a chance to say hello. But it's you know, much too early for ceremonies. But you'd, you'd be interested? Oh, I would, but, you know, I'll be... An elderly pedestrian by then, so we'll find out if I'm still mobile. You look, look, you're in your mid seventies now, right? I'm seventy-eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'll call it mid seventies. Yeah, <laughs> and you're looking, you're looking fifty-three. Oh, 
Thanks. So, I, like, I've got no doubt that you, but it's, it's also, it's more than just you. There's the whole production sure, company sure, sure. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you do between now and then to, to have a crack at getting the well, ceremony? I think, I think I'd better go to the gym and get lots of sleep. <laughs> yeah. You'll be putting in for it. The company will be putting in for it, sure. Well, I hope so. Yeah, look, it's um, in a way a perfect circle for me. If From 82 to 32, 50 yeah. years, you know, I mean, it'd be a lovely beginning and end. Any ideas yet what the moment would be that you'd put into that opening ceremony? Not at all. And you I certainly often, wouldn't tell me now. <laughs> well, often, I mean, the, the moment for the um, lighting of the cauldron, I got in Monaco because in 93 they decided Sydney was going to be the Olympic city and I was there for the announcement. And the September moment, 7. It sorry? was September 7, 93. There if I'm not go, mistaken. See, yeah, a, I remember. A yeah. date, you know, engraved in your memory, mm. I can see. But the moment everyone from Sydney leapt up in the air, including John Fay, who was the Premier at the time, I visualised the, the lighting of the cauldron of flame coming up through gas and things like that. So some things come to you in a flash and some yeah. things take longer. John Fay had his hat in his hand, didn't he? <laughs> Jumping around. Heart in his hand, I think. Yeah. <laughs> now, Rick Birch is here. He's best known for those Olympic, you know, Olympic Games opening ceremonies, but...